Hello and welcome back to A Handmade Cottage. In the last video we made mittens out of an old felted jumper. Felted is where wool has just been put in the wash and it's gone you know when that happens. Don't throw those kind of jumpers away because if you cut them they don't fray. Then we just sewed between the thumb and the forefinger and we have mittens. Okay, so now we're gonna make ourselves a snood. If your jumper is bobbly, don't throw it away because you can get one of these. These basically just, um, just like shaving your beard. Not that I shave my beard. Um, and they remove the bobbles and leave jumpers as good as new. They literally look like they've just come out of the shops. Woo! Or you can get one of these fabric combs that go. Either way, do not fear the bobble. Okay, so now I've never done this before and I'm doing it live on camera. So let's hope it works. All right, so I think our snood should come from the bottom to around there. So I'm simply going to cut. It's a bit scary. Okay, I'm just gonna attempt to cut in a straight line and hope this works. Right. There we have it. Now this is a really complicated bit. We simply wear it. So you can either wear it around your neck or you can go head style. Keep your ears warm in the winter. So the next thing I'm gonna to attempt to make, if sometimes the snood is a bit too much. Oh, look, crop top. Maybe not, I'm a bit too old for that now. I wanna make a headband because I get cold ears on dog walks. So let's again just cut. Oh my God, it's genius, look. Doesn't fray at all. Again, I've never done this before, so I'm winging this. So if it looks rubbish, don't laugh. Okay, so I'm thinking if you, um, if we pin it, let's get the right size. I do it quite tight because you don't want it to fall off. If we just cut, okay, we just cut it. So there's our, there's the back, that's the front. So if you go front to front and then we'll just sew along there, let's pin. Oh, where are my pins? This is my little carousel that I've been I cross-stitched that. Looks complicated, doesn't it? But it's not. Okay, so I'm gonna pause our video and sew along there. And there we should have a headband. Ta-da! Do you like it? My new headband to keep my ears warm on doggy walks. Um, yep, so all I did was sew down the back and bobbed your uncle. So um, go and dig out those old felted jumpers and keep nice and warm, keep nice and cosy. Okay, thanks for watching and do come say hello on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and all of that. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.